Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video. As you can see in front of me, on my dining room table here, I have basically the last six months worth of empties. Okay, so today's video is going to be basically telling you all about all these empties, okay, what I thought to them, how I felt the products performed, would I repurchase them, would I, you know, sort of recommend any to anybody to purchase and to try out themselves. But there's so many guys, look at it all, absolutely so many. So this is going to be a two-part video. This that I'm feeling, filming now is going to be on the front of both videos so you can see all the products so if you are watching it and it's got part one in the title then don't forget to make sure you're subscribed you've got your notification bell clicked and turned on to all and then YouTube will notify you when I upload part two if you're watching this and it says part two in the title, don't forget to go and check part one out. I will link uh, the other part to this video in the end screen, so click on that. And make sure you watch both videos for a full and thorough, honest as always, impression of all these products that you're currently seeing. So without further ado guys, let's get in to the main video. Hello everybody and welcome to part two of my six months worth of empties. Uh, if you have this time we are talking about products where I've received them in from other places basically. So some of these have come from my latest in beauty box which although that is a subscription box obviously you choose the products that you get. Um, some have come, uh, I think, from subscription boxes, but I can't figure out which one. Um, and just generally other places. So, we are literally just going to start getting through. Because as you can see, there is quite a lot. So, grab a cuppa, get yourselves comfy, and let's start talking through everything. So, first of all, the first thing I'm going to pick up is this one here. This is by The Body Shop. They're Vitamin C Skin Reviver. I do believe this costs £14 for this 30ml tube. This is a really, really lovely vitamin C um, serum type moisturiser. It leaves your skin so silky soft and smooth. It is unreal. It's a pump action, as you can see. And, oh. There you go, there's just a wee bit of product left. Now literally that amount will do your entire face, believe it or believe it not. Um, here we go, it absorbs really nicely. Like I said, it smells divine with the oranges and the vitamin C in there. I've been using this for quite a while actually and I really, really do like it. I have tried other vitamin C serums recently through subscription boxes and what have you. To be perfectly honest, I still, they're not, matching up for me and for my skin type they're not matching up to this one but I will continue to try them obviously and let you know how I get on so that's that one uh, next product is this one this is the Elemis Rose Cleansing Balm part of the Pro Collagen range the full price of this guys they're around about £30 it's a really nice product but it is very very heavily rose centred so if you're not into rose at all I would potentially not use this one, but they do do um, a cleansing balm in the Pro Collagen Marine range, which is obviously not the rose scent. Uh, same product, just without that heavy scent. But yeah, very, very nice. Great as a first step of cleansing. Helps to melt away all your makeup um, and lift it away from your skin. So yeah, very good. Um, I would recommend it. No sort of skin reactions or anything like that. Um, but it is a higher end priced skincare product so you know again there are other cleansing balms out there that will do the job just as well but potentially for a lower price point but if you can afford it go for it next product is this one here this was a matisse um micellar water um i think i picked this up i think I, from 
is it all beauty or cult beauty and i think i paid a fiver for it would i repurchase it no um it actually made my eyes sting a wee bit i didn't particularly enjoy using it i have obviously used it all um but i wouldn't particularly recommend it i don't find personally i don't find micellar waters do what they say or claim to do anyway um but yeah it was all right but I wouldn't pay that money again for one, definitely not. Not when I've used one from, I think it was a B&M, which literally cost me a quid and it did exactly the same. So, there we go. That's that one. Next we have two, whoops, two Molten Brown uh, Bath and Shower Gels. One in the Heavenly Ginger Lily and one in the Jasmine and Sun Rose. Both absolutely beautiful. Uh, really, really loved them. Lasted well, particularly when I used it with uh, like a body sponge or a body scrubber. Um, yeah, really, really nice. These are both worth, they're supposedly worth sort of between £7.50 and £10 a piece. I wouldn't pay that for a one, just a small 100ml bottle of shower gel. But nice to get in subscription boxes because it's not something I'd go out and buy myself. But great for a present or whatever. The Jasmine and Sun Rose uh, actually surprised me. <clears throat> because, because... Yes, there was rose scent, but it, it wasn't overly heavy or anything, so I did really enjoy using those. The other one I also really enjoyed using was this one. This was the L'Occitane Cherry Blossom. And I do believe this has got um, an RRP of uh, something quite silly, like something silly to similar to the um, Molten Browns. I think this 35ml is supposedly worth something like £6. Again, I wouldn't pay that myself personally, but as a gift or in a gift set, the, the fragrance was absolutely beautiful. I'm a cherry blossom. I love cherry blossom. Um, but uh, the body shop used to do a Japanese cherry blossom shower gel, and I think for the same money you got, was it 250ml in that one? So, personally, I'd go for that one over this, but there you go. Next product we're going to talk about is the Nip and Fab Ex uh, Glycolic Scrub Fix. I believe I received this in my February Glossy Box. Um, unfortunately, in February, I got a mystery box rather than the actual um, subscribers box that I should have got. Now, this actually took me quite a long time to use. It was a real lovely product. It's a cream exfoliator, so it's a cream rather than a gel consistency. And the exfoliating agent in there was like um, rice particles, very, very fine, really, really gentle, really, really nice. Suited my skin, left it feeling lovely and soft and smooth. Um, the only downside to this product was the fact that it was grapefruit scented and I can't stand grapefruit. I managed to put up with it to use the product um, because it didn't linger or anything like that. And like I say, I, I was very, very impressed with the product itself and its performance. Not sure on the RRP value of this, but Nip and Fab's not a cheap brand, so I think this is... I think it's about £12, but if I can find out the actual RRP of it, I will pop it on screen for you now. But yeah, I would say I was very impressed with that. Um, next product, and this I believe we got um, in a birch box, but again, I can't find the leaflet that tells me. It's by This Works. It's the Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum. Now, this was actually a very, very thin um consistency for a serum it was actually quite strange it was thin whoops there you go look it's blowing a bubble at you it was thin but then it it wasn't but it was it was quite fluidy and this little 10 mil normally with serums you don't need a lot and they'll last you quite a while this little 10 mil only lasted me a week um and i think that was because the product was quite thin it also um didn't sort of seal very well when you screwed the lid on and it sort of leaked quite a bit um yeah it was a nice serum um it absorbed quickly but i think there are better ones out there on the market in all honesty Again, going back, this was the vitamin C um, that I received in the Latest in Beauty Beauty Awards box uh, that I got a few months ago. This is by Superdrug and has an RRP of £4.99. This is a full-size product. Now then, this vitamin C serum has a pipette style dropper. 
and again unfortunately the actual length of the pipette goes nowhere near the bottom of the bottle so when you got to the bottom for literally the last week of using it I had to take the top off and literally pour a few drops into my hand which is not the best it was quite a thin formulation um, I honestly didn't think it was I didn't see any difference between using it and not using it um, in, in all honesty, in my opinion, I would save you fiver, guys. Put that fiver towards maybe something like, you know, the Body Shop Vitamin C Serum. I think that does a, a far better job than the Superdrug one. But if you're on a budget, um, at least you're popping some vitamin C into your skin. So, you know, if that's your price range, that's your price range. And it, it's okay. It's okay. And the next product I'm picking up was this. I received this in one of my uh, ore boxes. These are by Chewy Moon. They were little vanilla biscuits. They were, oh, they were all right, but they were a bit like eating cardboard. Um, very tough. Um, yeah, weren't exactly overly vanilla-y. Uh, best dumped in a cup of tea, I'd have to say, uh, to soften them up a bit. They were all right, but I wouldn't repurchase those at all. The next product I would repurchase though, whoops, I've just knocked my camera. This is by Sanctuary Spa, which you can buy at Boots. And this is the Ultra Rich Wet Skin Moisture Miracle Cream. This is basically an in shower moisturizer. So you actually put this on while your skin is still wet. And oh my goodness, this is divine. It is amazing. The smell is gorgeous. It absorbs quickly, um, but putting it onto sort of wet skin is very, very strange. Um, it just, yeah, it did. It really helped moisturise my skin. I think it says on it that it, it lasts up to 72 hours. I wouldn't exactly agree with that. But the full-size version of this, which is 200ml, is only £10. Um, this size, which is 50ml, this literally lasted me a week of using it every day. Um, so, yeah, for a month's worth of a body moisturiser, would I recommend it? Yes, I thought it did a good job. Loved the smell. Um, and I preferred it to this one, which was the Watermelon Radiance Jelly. Basically the same idea. Um, again, this size lasted me a week. I got this in my Latest in Beauty Beauty Awards box as well. Same price point. Um, yeah, not overly keen on the watermelon, watermelon sort of sweet scent to it. And to be honest, I didn't think this was as moisturising as uh, this one, as the other one. So in, for me personally, I would go with this one over this one. But both were good products. And if you've not got such dry skin on your legs like I have, then this one would potentially be absolutely fine for you. And if you prefer your sweeter scents over your more sort of spa, uh, sort of slightly muskier scents, which this one is, then go for this one. There we go. Next product that I would recommend, this is the by the company Delicious and it's the Hello Beautiful Exfoliator, Body Exfoliator. This 100 gram packet lasted me a good 10 to 12 applications. Yes, extremely messy, but that's just the nature of the, of the product, to be perfectly honest. Um, it left my skin really lo lovely. You could feel, it was a very gentle exfoliation, but you could feel the oils, the natural oils um, that that popped in there as well on the surface of the skin. They were then absorbed. And yeah, I exfoliate twice a week. Um, this was, yeah, this was lovely. I believe the uh, RRP of this is £10. Would I pay £10 for it? Mm, yeah. Um, yes I would because I did enjoy using it and I did find that my skin, uh, there was a benefit to my skin by using it. So that I was really pleasantly surprised with um, and to be honest, let's face it, yes it's messy but it gives you an excuse to have to clean your bathroom down after you've used it, doesn't it, you know? Um, next product, I bought this in my Look Fantastic Rituals Special Edition box recently. This is the Rituals uh, Ritual of Jing Sleep Spray. This 50ml bottle has actually lasted quite a while. It's lasted about six or eight weeks. Um, and that's giving it a good old spritz every night, I have to say. 
really really nice not as overly heavy on the lavender as some of other sleep sprays um i think this has an rrp value of something like 15 pounds potentially i wouldn't pay that although if i was getting somebody a gift and i wanted them to help with relaxation and stuff then absolutely i definitely definitely would um but that was a really nice product and a lovely glass bottle as well this is another of my favourite products that I've been able to try. Um, I can't quite remember where I got this. I think it was a birch box, but I'm not sure. This is by the brand Balance Me, and it's their Wonder Eye Cream. This little 7ml lasted me nearly three months. It was amazing. You needed the slightest little drop of it. Um, really, really loved the way it was absorbed into the skin, really did help to moisturise, it helped with the um, de-puffing under the eyes, not so much with the dark circles, but honestly, in my opinion, I think dark circles are more down to dehydration and lack of sleep than anything else. Um, highly, highly recommend this. I believe the, foot, the um, RRP of this is about £15. Would I pay that? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, very, very impressed with that. Highly recommend it. Another one from the Balance Me range is the Hyaluronic um, Plumping Mist that we have here. This 10ml, this didn't last very long. It literally lasted, uh, I think it was about four or five days. Having said that, the sprayer on it is not very good. It's quite squirty rather than sprayy. So you, you, you're using a lot of product um, when you don't need to. If they could sort the sprayer out, um, that would really, really help. Um, but actually, as a product, I really liked it. It was absorbed quickly into the skin, no sort of skin irritation. Um, and I think the full-size version of this, which is 100ml, I think that's £19. Would I pay that? Yeah, potentially I would. Because um, I really, really did like this and the way it felt on my skin uh, once it had been absorbed. So, yeah, really nice. Uh, another product that I really, really have or did enjoy using was by Patchology. These were the Perk Up um, eye gels. And they've got green tea and bergamot. Oh, my word, these smell amazing. They come in a little disc like this. Whoopsie daisy. And then your pads, the gel pads are underneath these pieces of paper. Oh, the smell is just divine. The only slight downside I have with these gel pads is if they have too much serum on them, then they can very easily slip off your face, which is a bit of a pain. But these felt wonderful and i tell you what they really were energizing uh, after i took them off and after the serum had absorbed into the skin under the eye area yeah i felt a bit of firming and they definitely definitely looked brighter under there so i think these have an rrp of i think it's about five pounds i might have picked these up in the latest and beauty box would i recommend them would i repurchase them if i could get them on offer absolutely that's only because i'm tight you know, I keep saying it. Uh, if I can get a bargain, then I will do. Um, but yeah, no, these were really, really nice. And actually, some of my favourite eye patches that I have tried out. Uh, this was another good product that I enjoyed using. This came as a bonus treat in one of my Medusa's makeup boxes. This is a raw organic facial wipe with pomegranate in it. Um, very impressed with this. The amount of muck that it removed was absolutely amazing very very softening on the skin it wasn't rough it didn't feel harsh i didn't have any sort of facial reaction um yeah i think this is a u.s company so i don't know how easy it would be to get these over here but i'm looking into that i'm going to research it and if we can get them over here at a decent price then potentially i would repurchase these for uh, when i'm feeling a bit lazy you know Another product that I know I did get through Latest in Beauty is this. This is the Codex Beauty Exfoliating Wash. This has absolutely lasted yonks. Um, about four or five months this has lasted. It's a cream exfoliator with the finest exfoliating particles in it I think I've ever had from an exfoliator. It's a pump action. 
there you go there's the top um and i literally use i think it's three or four pumps on a cognac sponge and then use it as a sort of second cleansing step um thoroughly enjoyed using it not quite sure of the rrp again if i can figure that out i will put it on screen for you guys um but yeah highly recommend this product very very nice this one here, the Aroma Blend Calming Facial Mask. This was beautiful. Smell divine. Um, I think I got it in a glossy box, but again, I'm not too sure. I think one of the glossy boxes I got said I should have got a particular sort of face mask and I got this instead. I'm not too sure. RR Prees, probably around about the five, six pound mark. Would I pay that? No. Would I pay three or four pounds? Yes. So if you could get these on offer, absolutely. And unusually for a Korean brand, um, the size of the mask and the eye hole cutouts and the mouth cutouts was actually very, very good. It stuck on there. It stayed. I could move around. Uh, I could be upright. I didn't have to lay down to wear this one. My skin felt lovely after using it. Very, very, very impressed. A uh, couple of items now that I was given to try out by my auntie from the Clinique range. And we've got the Hydrating Jelly uh, Anti-Pollution Moisturiser and the Mild Liquid Facial Soap. Very, very nice, uh, both of them. Um, this was a very, very thin formula, um, but bizarrely it was quite uh, moisturising and hydrating no sort of um, skin reaction to the, either of them um, would I repurchase them? Mm, potentially not but you know what if someone got me that as a gift and they were in there I wouldn't be upset by it at all nice to try them this is a product that I bought myself although we did get it in one of the boxes or special limited edition boxes or something um this is the rituals ritual secura foaming shower gel this 50 ml has a rrp of i think it's four pound fifty really really love it um the only thing with this is the top the way you press down this one's not so bad but i've actually got another one as well because one i bought myself one i got in a box and the one i'm using at the moment this top doesn't work very well so mm, maybe maybe the way the product is dispensed could be, potentially be improved would i buy this again for myself absolutely i think the full size is 10 pounds really really nice as a treat um if you wanted to spoil yourself with some birthday or christmas money I adore the Rituals brand and I'm very, very pleased that I have been introduced to this brand through the subscription boxes. Um, some more eye masks that I've used have been the Vitamasks Diamond Eye Mask. Um, Brighten and Deep Puff, yes it did. Um, again, they were the gel type ones and I do believe these were the ones that kept slipping off my face because there was just that much serum in them. Um, but they did the job and they were okay. They were just a bit annoying because they just kept sliding everywhere, but hey ho, never mind. Uh, Pixie Glow Tonic, got this in, um, I think it was the latest in Beauty Style Awards box. Now then, this I had an issue with. Not exactly a skin reaction, but my skin didn't like it. Um, I think it was just too harsh for my skin, but I have got oily skin, but hypersensitive skin. I know everybody raves about this. I know the, the RRP of this size bottle is, is £10. For me personally, I would not be repurchasing it, purchasing it purely because I had to be very careful when I used it. I couldn't swipe it. I couldn't pop it onto my reusable uh, cotton pads and then sort of swipe it across my face to help get rid of any extra muck. I had to sort of dab it on because if I swiped it, that's when it kind of felt a bit sort of burny and scratchy. Really, really bizarre. Unfortunately, not a product for me, but if you've got, you know, if your skin's not as sensitive, then absolutely give it a go and see how you get on. Uh, this product I got from a latest in beauty box, and I got this for my children, actually. This is the Earthkind uh, Shampoo Bar, and they really enjoyed using it. Now, it does say that this 50 gram bar, which retails at about seven or eight pound, believe it or not, you should be able to get 20 washes out of. Hmm. Yeah. 
as an adult you probably could uh, you're a bit more careful with your your products and how you use them and you don't sort of waste them as much as children do i think they got about eight uses out of it between the two of them um but they really did enjoy using it they said it was really nice and easy to use it was great um it lathered up well and it certainly cleaned the hair um the tea tree and the eucalyptus helped with the oiliness of my eldest son's hair quite well quite nicely so would i repurchase it yes um but i would definitely try and find those on offer i wouldn't be paying the full rrp for them this was another brilliant product that I've tried. This is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity uh, Vital Power Infusion. This is a serum basically and again you only needed maybe two or three drops to do your entire face. I think this little 7.5mm um, I got from Debenhams um, because I am part of the beauty club and with the beauty club at Debenhams you can go in store and it's not every Friday of the month um, but a few Fridays in a month they will um, you can go to the counters and ask for your beauty club uh, freebie sample this was one of them really really lovely would I repurchase this yes absolutely um, it was a nice light serum very moisturizing but easily absorbed smelt really nice nice and fresh and clean no sort of skin reaction so yeah very impressed with that this, this is by the company SVR and it's their Clariol Serum. I got this as a freebie in an order, I think I did with Look Fantastic or somewhere. Steer clear, that is all I'm going to say. This absolutely honks. Um, it smells like vinegar. I don't know if the product I've got has gone off. I have um, tried to see an expiry date on it but I can't. Um... Oh God, it smelled disgusting and it lingered on my skin. I didn't like the way it felt on my skin. In fact, I'm holding it very carefully because there is still serum in here. Uh, but that is going straight in the bin. Steer clear of that one, guys. This is a product that I think I, I chose in a latest in beauty box. This is by the company Pie and it's their Rosehip Cleansing Oil. Um, yeah, this was a bit awkward to use. Um, as you can see because it's an oil and you've got like this sort of dispenser on the end of the tube it was good for getting it out but it just went everywhere and you actually needed more um, I think that lasted me about five goes the oil itself yeah no my skin doesn't particularly no uh, I have found out you know by using this product that cleansing oils are just not for me I much prefer cleansing balms it's a nice enough product and particularly if you've got dry skin I think this would be quite beneficial for you just not a product for me um this sleep spray here this pure essential one again i think i got this in the latest and beauty box this was nice um i did like the fact that this was sort of this sort of sprayer rather than um sort of your little packy pump bottle ones it was nice it didn't last overly too long i think this 20 mil lasted uh, about four or five days which yeah was a bit yeah um so I wouldn't repurchase this. It was nice, but it wasn't wow enough for me to buy a full-size version of that. Um, this I received in uh, one of my oil boxes. This was the creamed coconut fudge from the All The Moon Company. Oh my goodness. This has got to be some of the best fudge I think I've ever had in my life. It was amazing. I think the box literally lasted me about two hours. Um yeah that was absolutely divine <laughs> uh this naked cocoa orange bar we got this as a freebie in one of the glossy boxes this was really nice nice um sort of chocolatey orangey taste it was raw fruit and nut bar um yeah quite chewy quite chompy um but i actually enjoyed it i quite liked it uh, these were by again Patchology. These are the rejuvenating eye gels, very similar to the green tea ones. Same sort of idea in this circular um, sort of dish thing. Lots and lots of um, serum with them, as you can still see. Um, again, really, really nice. I wouldn't pay the full price for them, but if you can get them on offer, absolutely give them a go. Uh, this, the uh, 
uh, Dr. Andrew Wheel by Origins, the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resistance. This is supposed to be a soothing treatment lotion. No, it wasn't on my sensitive skin, guys. Um, my, yeah, my skin didn't like it. Again, very similar to the Pixi Glow Tonic. I kind of had to pat it onto my skin rather than sweeping it. If I swept it on, you know, it felt a bit burny, a bit, yeah. Um, yeah, not for sensitive skin, I would say, guys. So, kind of don't quite believe what it says about the soothing treatment lotion, but there we go. That was that one. This was beautiful. This is by the brand uh, Rituals. This was the Ritual of Aravida Blissful Hair and Body Mist. Oh my goodness. You literally only needed a couple of spritz of this um, over the top of your head. You smelt it all day. Absolutely divine. I think the full size version of this, I think has got an RRP of about £15. Would I pay that for the full size? Yeah, because this little 20 mil lasted me ages it lasted me about a month of using it virtually every day because you only needed literally a couple of squirts so that was really really nice um this one here the original source shower gel um this was the sweet rubrium rhubarb and raspberry i know this came in a glossy box i think yeah really nice nice product um i mean the product itself was nice and moisturizing on the skin just like a normal shower gel should be but very very sweet in its scent so yeah um my husband used this rather than i did so there we go okay everybody so here we are we're down to the final few items now of this uh rather mammoth six months worth of empties so Let's go for this one. This is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. Um, this I received in um, a birch box that I got for a Christmas present last year from uh, one of my sisters. Um, this was really nice. This was a lavender and hyaluronic acid sheet mask. Really, really nice. Um, smelt lovely. Um, very relaxing, very calming if you like lavender. Um, I have seen these for sale. I think it's at B and M, and I think they're uh, about one pound fifty, two pound each. And to be honest, for that sort of price, yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't mind paying a couple of pound for a sheet mask. That's absolutely fine, especially if you're doing them once or twice a week. Um, but any more than that, and I'm a bit near yeah, to be honest. Um, so that's that item. We have another sheet mask here. This one I think I received in a Medusa's makeup box. Um, this was nice. Um, it was not overly scented actually um, with the cucumber because uh, cucumber stuff can actually be quite quite stinky um, but no this was okay it felt nice uh, it fitted okay it fitted really nice and this is by the brand beauty host again i think the value of this is about five dollars um but yeah like i say guys if you can ever get them on offer then that's probably the best thing to do in all honesty um, which is exactly what I did with this mask here. This was part of a three mask uh, Harry Potter set uh, from Christmas last year in Boots. I bought these, I think they were, were they £7.50 or £5 for the three? I bought them in, in the sale after Christmas. Really, really nice masks, fit fantastically. Um, the... Um, design on the outside of them, uh, the Death Eater design, uh, it, it looked really, really cool. Uh, in fact, when I was when I was trialing it, and uh, I was sat downstairs, and I really wanted somebody to come to the door so I could scare the living daylights out of them, uh, but they didn't, unfortunately. So I had to put up with just scaring the husband to death, uh, which worked pretty well. Um, so I got a set of three of these. So there's one of them. And I think this was another one, or I think, no, this was one that, again, my sister got me um, for Christmas last year. Um, so that was the same sort of mask. Just really, really nice. They didn't, they just smelled fresh and clean. Nothing uh, specific about them in any way. Um, what's next? Oh, the cognac sponge. Yeah, I've just, uh, I've just 
thrown this one away and started a new one. Um, I got this one, I believe it was from a Latest in Beauty um, box. Um, I think these, you know, you can buy them literally from a pound upwards, guys. And honestly, yes, the slightly more expensive ones, they are a softer sponge. So if you're a bit like me, you struggle with a little bit of a sensitive skin, it might be worth your while spending a wee bit more on them. But then I've had them from um, where I've paid a pound for them. They've been slightly smaller in size. They've maybe not lasted as long, but they've done the job. So, you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I do highly recommend uh, giving cognac sponges a go. Uh, these, these are the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Now, I think this might have come from a subscription box, either Little Known Box or All Box or something like that. I believe these are worth um, £5 for the one pair. They were okay, they were alright. Um, they were very weird though. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they came in one of these like in between these two pieces of plastic and you can see all the serum on there um yeah do i think they actually worked any better than any others no um again would i pay five pounds for a pair of them no but if you can get those on on offer then i highly suggest giving them a go giving them a, a, a try out why not and the next thing, um, again, this was in my little birch box that my sister made for Christmas. This is the Garnier Organic uh, Lavender Moisturising Cream. This was really nice, very nice and light. No um, skin reaction, which is excellent. And it obviously does say on there that it's for all skin types, even sensitive, which is probably why Arla's put it in there, because she knows what my skin's like. Um, yeah, it was really nice. Nothing wow about it, but it certainly wasn't awful either. Um, this definitely did come from an ore box, and this was the salted caramel brownie. Whoops. Um, this was absolutely delicious. Um, I think the RRP of this was about one ninety nine, and it was only a very small little bar. Um, but it was very, very rich, so actually that small bar was probably enough, and that's coming from a, a bit of a sweet tooth. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that was nice. This is a very recent item. This came in October's Look Fantastic Beauty Box, and this is the Bubble Tea Earl Grey Bath Tea. Basically, it was a... a sachet of, of bath salts um my husband tried this and absolutely loved them it does say on the back that they're energizing and it was quite citrus in its fragrance um and he did he really he really did think that it helped boost him and, and energize him unfortunately this 100 gram packet is uh the rrp of it is 5.99 and he only got two baths worth out of it so maybe from a value for money point of view there are probably a lot nicer and better out there but he did yeah my husband highly rated it and thoroughly enjoyed using them uh this one i now i think this was from a birch box but again i can't find the leaflet to tell me this is by the company beauty protector oh it might have been the latest in beauty box actually thinking about it ah yes i think it was latest in beauty it's a protect and detangle spray very very nice um obviously your normal um sort of 30 ml bottle with the spray lid and everything now then this one went a bit gloopy though i'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to see that um it went very it went very very thick and gloopy and there's actually still some product in the bottom there um but you just can't get it out and also again oh no this one wasn't too bad for the length of the tube on the sprayer but yeah it was the gloopiness of that that eventually put me not put me off of it because i have used it all and it was really really nice and it did condition my hair lovely um but yeah the gloopiness sort of got it it got stuck a bit in the sprayer nozzle so mm, yeah i don't know whether that was just this one that i'd got or if the product's like that but anyway um 
what's next we have here oh i think i've possibly talked about this before this is the Den dr dennis gross uh, exfoliating moisturizer now this was really nice and i think this came in a look fantastic box but i'm not 100 percent sure it might have been a birch box or something um it is really nice. The RRP of this in a full size version though is something stupid like 90 odd pound. I mean it's just ridiculous. It was a lovely moisturiser. It lasted a long time. I do know that. Um, I wouldn't pay that amount for it though because although it was lovely, uh, nice and light, easily absorbed, um, yeah no <laughs> it didn't again it wasn't that sort of wow product where you go yeah that's worth the money again if you're receiving that as a gift then absolutely that's a beautiful beautiful gift but yeah i wouldn't spend the money off my own back if you know what i mean and uh, next product uh i can't remember where this came from this is the nooks creme prodigies boost and this is the multi-correction gel cream now then product wise this was quite nice do i think it color corrected my skin mm, yes i do because when i look back on videos that i filmed and i knew i'd put this on in the morning um i think you can see that i'm a lot brighter and paler actually so yes i think the the color correcting side of it did work the one thing that put me off from this product though was it's very heavily rose scented and again I'm not a rose person um, so I'm pleased I've tried it in this sample size of 15ml this did last quite a while it lasted a good six to eight weeks um, you know you only needed a very very small amount I'm glad I've tried it in this size rather than buying the full size version because yeah the full size I'd have been upset because uh, it doesn't mention anywhere on it that it is rose centered but it is so there you go uh i forgot to tell you when i did my glossy box unboxing for october that we actually had an extra little treat in there which was a little miniature of the cadbury's dark milk the new bar they're releasing really nice very strange actually because it, you could taste it was they would got dark chocolate in there you could taste the slight bitterness but it was very creamy um so it was quite unusual but i enjoyed it it didn't last very long because it wasn't very big but there we go um this one here this is the remove by clarins this is a micellar cleansing milk um i got this again from the debenhams uh, or through the debenhams beauty club um it lasted i think i think was this five mil I think it's 5 mil, 10 mil, and I think this literally lasted about 3 or 4 days. I do prefer this cleansing, micellar cleansing milk to the micellar water. Um, I didn't have any sort of reactions with it or anything like that, so that was nice. It'd be handy to have, um, you know, for going away overnight or whatever, but I wouldn't repurchase it as a full size product because it just, it was alright, but it was nothing special. So there we go. And the next two items, I think again, I think I've already spoken about. I absolutely loved these. I bought them last year, um, I think it was either just before Christmas or just after, from Look Fantastic or Feel Unique. And it was a, a little Christmas bauble, for like a gift bauble, that had been reduced in price. So you got the little 4ml of the Optim eye cream and the 15ml time filler. Both of these products I absolutely adored and loved. Um, in fact, the Optimize, yeah, that is, product quality-wise, I think that is on a par with the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. But this is obviously a lot more expensive because Falorga is a very expensive or high-end skincare brand. Um, if somebody bought me this as a present, I really would not be upset at all. Um, and I might keep my eye out this Christmas. And if any of these gift sets do goes down in the sale um, and are down at 50% or whatever, uh, or a good price, then I will pick some more up. Um, the time filler, that tube, that 15ml tube, I think that lasted me about three months. Um, and I get the optimize, I think that lasted... 
Oh, crikey. Um, <laughs> probably like that probably lasted about the same amount of time, probably about three months. So, and it was, I swear this was only a four mil. Yeah, it is. You needed the tiniest wee amount. It was uh, very, very nice. And the next product. This I do know I got from a latest in beauty box. This is the Context Oil Free Daily Moisturiser. It was a 20 mil tube. Um, yeah, I'm glad I tried it. Um, I quite like the actual results and performance of the product, but the smell, it was like PVA glue. Um, yeah, I didn't like the smell at all really mm, yeah it, it put me off and it would put me off buying this product um i'm not sure what the, the full size rrp value is or anything like that um but to be honest i didn't even look into it because it doesn't matter whether it's four quid or 40 i'm not going there the smell completely put me off of that the product's performance was okay um it absorbed all right it went on okay but yeah no uh, Eve Lom, the Eve Lom cleansing balm again. I bought this after Christmas last year from TK Maxx. Got it in a little gift set, reduced. Absolutely love this stuff. This is an amazing cleansing balm. The full size version of this is about £35. It's not cheap, but it is apps the product is absolutely beautiful the balm itself actually sort of melts into like um an oil but it's not greasy it's not oily it leaves your skin super soft it by it does it get that makeup and that grime out of your skin i actually prefer this to the elemis to be perfectly honest the elemis cleansing balm is a very good product it's a very nice product but i just think for the similar pipe price point i prefer the quality of this there's just something extra about this and i can't quite put my finger on it what it is but yeah for the same price point i would choose the eve Lom. and we're nearly there guys we've just got three more products to talk about these were a one of my picks recently from my feel unique pick and mix sample service these are the gatineau collagen expert uh, soothing iPads. These were actually really nice. They um, were different to what I expected. I expected them being like uh, the little gel pads, but they weren't. They were almost like little pieces of soft linen or like a linen paper. It was. They were really bizarre. Um, sort of infused with the um, serum. And because they were thinner and they were like a paper or cottony um, material, they stuck so much better. Once they were on there, under the eyes, they did not shift, they did not move, they didn't slip down onto the cheeks. Um, and when I took them off, um, yeah, I, I was very impressed with them actually. I really enjoyed using those. Again, I don't think these are the cheapest things on the earth. I think they're about £5 a pair. Would I pay that? No. If I saw these on Feel Unique Pick and Mix again, would I pick some up? Absolutely. Um, yeah, these were these were really nice. Yeah, they were nice. They were lovely. And then another pick from Feel Unique Pick and Mix Sample Service. These This I picked up quite a while ago. And it was a set of a week's worth of um, a B5 serum. I can't remember the company's name. Anyway, this is amazing. It is such a lovely hyaluronic serum. Um... It says you need you literally to use one of these sachets per day. I've been getting three days worth out of one of these sachets because you literally need a couple of drops. And it's really bizarre because when the product comes out, it's a wee bit sticky. Um, but then once you actually start putting it on your skin and it starts absorbing, it doesn't leave a stickiness or a film or anything. I've been using the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary and that is very sticky. And even once it's it's sort of absorbed, for about 10 to 15 minutes afterwards, I can feel still feel a tackiness on my skin. 
With this, it absorbs virtually instantaneously, literally within 30 seconds, it's done. There's no stickiness, no tackiness. I've been very, very impressed with this, but I do know um, from watching people, other people who got this at the time, I think it was January or February time I got these, um, that this is a very, very expensive and high-end brand, but my goodness, I have to say for me personally, I think it's worth it. I really do. And this, this is my star product, and it's probably one of the smallest. It is a little 2ml, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see I've uh, rolled it up very very tight to make sure I've got every little last drop out of it. This was a little 2ml sample we got from, I think it was August or September's little known box. It's by the company Lady Green and it's a beautifying day cream. It says it moisturises, mattifies and rebalances and it's for combination to oily skin. I am keeping hold of this because I will be repurchasing this. I honestly don't care what it costs. This cream is amazing. Literally, the first time I tried it and put it on, um, in, it instantly it mattified my skin. I have really oily skin and it was awesome and it stayed mattified all day. Um, I got four days worth out of this little 2ml sachet. Uh, it smelled lovely. It got a little bit of a sweet edge to it on the fragrance side. A little bit like sherbet-y. Um, but honestly, it was nothing overpowering and nothing offensive. And it didn't linger, so it didn't get on my nerves. Um, but yeah, this is my absolute star product. I loved, loved, loved this cream. And I am so pleased that we got it in the little known box uh, a month or so ago so there we go everybody that is um, the completion of my six months worth of empties what do you think please let me know all your thoughts and feelings down in the comment section below guys what do you think to all my empties have i done well over the last six months getting through this amount of products because uh, i think i have um what's your favorite product have you got any different opinions to me thank you for watching as always if you are new to my channel the warmest of welcomes i hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'd like to continue watching me and uh, seeing what other crazy content i put out over the coming few months and years potentially hopefully fingers crossed uh, if so you'll need to hit that subscribe button either the red one down below or the circular icon with my face in it which will appear on screen shortly don't forget to hit that notification bell make sure it's clicked and turned on to all that way youtube will tell you every time i upload a video which is around about two or three times a week i don't just do videos like this i do subscription box unboxings makeup looks i have a live stream on a friday evening 8 p.m gmt or uk time that's just a very open um friendly encouraging place where you come bring your favorite beverage and literally have a natter have a natter a good old chin wag a virtual get together seeing as though we can't physically meet up together at the moment so i think that's everything for today everybody enjoy the rest of your day keep safe and well and i shall see you in the next one bye